When I grew up, life was all about myself. But when I fall in love, and when I want to make that love something permanent, my life is just not about me. My life is about us. And that's not an easy journey. So I'm going to help you by reducing it from six words to one word. Let me start with six. And these are the hardest words we have to say. Here they go. I was wrong. You were right. I, I went over to the uh, to the church and I walked through it and I had this epiphany. I had a moment where I walked through and I, I was visualizing Jonna walking down that aisle. And today she delivered with the beauty and the class and the grace that she always does. Absolutely love you, baby. Then we get to five words. There has to be a look of amazement in your face when you say this. You do things very well. In other words, I'm amazed that I'm not the only person who can do this. Learning to recognize the gifts and the talents in each other. And never ceasing to realize that, that you are both people of great gifts and that you have to allow yourselves in marriage to express those gifts, to let those gifts blossom in your life and to, and to affirm those gifts. And that's when you come to four words. And the four words are, what do you think? Can you imagine that my partner could actually have an opinion other than mine? That's a huge step in marriage, to be able to make joint decisions in life. It's not just about me deciding what we're going to do, what's going to be, what's going to... No, no. What do you think? We're together on this. We are building our lives together. Your opinion, your way of looking at this is very important to me. Build that into the way that you go about life. What do you think? Four words. Gianna is not only my sister, but she's also my best friend. I'll never forget the time she asked me to go downstairs to go and call her new crush that she had from this bonfire in Pacifica. And she was so nervous. I said, Gianna, come on, let's go downstairs. Let's just go ask him. You'll be fine. Obviously, he'll say yes. And we called him and I was just kind of listening and he said, of course, yeah, I'd love to go with you. And once he hung up, she started blushing right away and we, we were dancing in the backyard and it's just, it's something I'll never forget because it was so sweet and special. And that brings us to three words, three lovely words, I love you. Very wonderful words that couples say to each other the day they marry each other and the days before they marry each other. But maybe not often enough as married life goes on. Eric's love for Pizza My Heart from Dunkin' Donuts is pretty apparent, and at times he can be indecisive about what to order. But the one thing Eric never had trouble about making his, his mind about was his love for Gianna. Having gone through the forgiveness and having gone through the affirmation and having gone through, now we're down to two words. Thank you. 
Oh, thank you. Such simple words. But don't we take each other for granted so often? Don't we assume because this is our job and this is the way we do it and this is the way, of course, I take this responsibility, I take that responsibility, I do this and I do that. When do we say, thank you? You are just such a gift to my life. Thank you. And if we go from six words through five words, through four words, through three words, through two words, we end up with one word. Us. Not me. Not you. Us. So there's the journey of your life. From starting off to ending up as us. And that's what you're going to tell us today here on this arc. That you too are becoming one. Us. I truly believe that we are the sum of our surroundings and we've been very fortunate to be surrounded by such great people here. <laughs> and, you know, I, sorry, I, I get nervous. I've never spoken at my own wedding before, so I, I'm sorry. <laughs>